Okay, we've got all our modex files loaded onto our web server, and when we go to our domain name, we get this 503 error message, which is correct. This is what we're supposed to get. So then what we need to do is type setup. And we can then start the installation process. So select your language, click next. It's a new installation, so I just accept the defaults. So this is where we input the details of our database which we created in the last lesson. So the database was a MySQL database. The database host is the local host. The login name is prefix followed by example. Password is the password we used. The database name is the prefix example. And table prefix is the prefix used on all the tables that get created in the base in the database. So I leave I leave it as modx um, so that we know all the files are related to modx in case we add other tables unrelated to the modx installation later. So then you test the database server connection and see what happens. Success, that's good. And the collation. I usually change that to UTF-8 General CI and UTF-8 and create or test selection of your database. Checking database success. So now it's time to create your administrator username for mod the, your ModX installation and uh, input your email and password. So I've typed in all my details, click next. So it's done some pre-installation tests and they've all been successful. So let's install. Great, core installation was successful. Click next to complete the installation process. Okay, now log in. So type your details in, click the login button. So here we are in ModX. There's a, um, a welcome screen with some useful information on there. So this is the ModX manager, which we'll, we will be exploring in the following lessons. And this is also where we will be building our website.